Hello, this is why going my own way. Oh, someone is calling. Uh, it's not for me. Hi. Okay. My this thing, I have a private room, and uh, I allow instant booking. Instant booking means uh, you don't have to do uh, messaging back and forth, back and forth to get reservation by sending reservation request. As long as you have you have met some requirement, so standard requirement, uh, email address, phone number, and profile photo and government ID. And um, I started allowing instant booking one year ago because I noticed when I require uh, messaging back and forth with reservation request, many guests kind of disappear. Like in the meantime, going back and forth the message and the guest will find somewhere better or some other place better or cheaper. So, and then if you allow instant booking, uh, I can reduce those uh, back and forth request or back and forth uh, messaging. But uh, yeah, the requirement, I kind of raise more strict requirement uh, because, yeah, of course, I would like to host safe, like people I get to know a little bit before we welcome our guest. And I would like guests who, who knows how to use Airbnb correctly, like heavy user of Airbnb people who have experienced in a shared room, private room, and entire place, and they know what to expect and how the uh, Airbnb website and app works. And uh, one year ago, I, I require uh, government-issued ID, but I didn't require recommendation from other hosts and I'd like to tell you the reason. This government issue ID, for instance, driver's license or passport, it's very easy to upload. Maybe it takes only one minute. The, your phone will scan the picture of you. And, uh, but, uh, uh, I want the many guests misunderst misunderstand that the host are able to see your government issued ID. Uh, it, it's not. It's not. So, host like me, I cannot tell if if you uploaded your passport or driver's license. I don't know. Only Airbnb admin knows if it is passport or driver's license. So don't worry that a uh, host cannot see it. Like if your picture is bad or uh, red eyes or something, I, I, I don't see it. So, so I don't know if you uploaded driver's license or passport. So don't worry about this. And this one right here, recommendation from other hosts. At first, I didn't require this because I, I don't like the situation catch 22. I had made YouTube video about catch 22 
because everyone is first timer at some point and yeah i myself struggle with catch 22 after college so i didn't want to impose on others but uh, yeah that was last year but now i require recommendation from other hosts and the reason is uh, i know that majority of people are kind and friendly and we never felt dangerous we we always feel safe to to host new people like some people call total strangers and uh yeah then hosting new people is fun so it's fine and no one ever made mess or anything then then why why is the reason now i i request or i require recommendation from other host the reason is that yeah recently like around last year i noticed compared to six years ago i noticed some some guests do not write review for us not leaving review for us and oftentimes i have to send friendly reminder saying thank you for staying and i hope your flight was was good and if you have moment we appreciate the if you leave a review for us and uh, and also recommendation from other hosts means that the guest knows how the airbnb website works on the computer or airbnb app on the phone how, how to how to use and uh, self-sufficient airbnb user so that i don't have to spend too much time on oh, what's next step and uh, what's the difference and all that and uh yeah it also we would like to host heavy user of airbnb and people who who understand that uh, shared room and private room is it's not not like a commercial hotel for instance we don't offer 24 hour check-in our check-in time is 2 p.m to 8 p.m yeah 8 yeah please come before 8 p.m because we go to bed we go to sleep at 9 p.m and we have uh, middle schooler so we try to keep good uh, good night sleep for the next day and i have a couple of part-time job part-time jobs and my son has middle school and my husband had have, have work next day so and then yeah, often times I notice that some guests do not read description or our profile or not really pay attention to the photo. And now my uh, our listing, I have picture with caption or should I say subtitle or, or caption inside the photo because the airbnb caption i don't know if if you have small phone like iphone 
X but not instead of iPhone X Plus or iPhone 8 hmm? iPhone 8 Plus or iPhone X Plus or should I say iPhone X S Max or oh, Max oh yeah like my phone is Max so it's it's a little bit bigger than regular iPhone but if someone use smaller iPhone I don't know if the caption shows so well and uh, yeah yeah so basically we prefer the guest who read description and pay attention to the, the picture and I try to well, one of us try to follow up within grace period within grace per period means they can cancel without penalty if if our house is not what they are looking for so yeah so we prefer the prospective guest who who knows what they want and who who understand our this thing, the picture and description, house rule, and then uh, there is no surprise that oh hey I thought this this listing is entire home, and oh hey uh, the host live on the pre premise we are living host, so yeah. And then, see, I talk about Catch-22, like uh, hardship, the newcomers have to suffer, but Airbnb has been around 11 years now. So, hey, how come you didn't make Airbnb trip the past 10 years? <laughs> so I guess I can say that. And if yeah so but uh see these requirement especially recommendation from other hosts if you don't have it it's not the end of the world because the guest can still send a reservation request if if they cannot book instantly if they cannot use instant booking so just send a reservation request uh, introduce yourself and purpose of your stay uh, if if you if you plan to have big party and trust the house and i don't we will decline but if you are house hunting or attend conference at convention center or attend someone's uh, wedding because or at attend someone someone's wedding meaning your friends or family or relatives wedding because they are not meet out so so yeah that's that or if you attend someone's funeral or yeah you can just uh give us the brief message of the purpose of your stay so yeah as long as you don't uh you don't bring unauthorized extra guest or uh like a bad intention like making a big party trash the house or uh, illegal activity or uh, if none of that then uh, we will uh, accept and then we will welcome you with big open arms so uh, thank you for listening and uh, we are living host host on the premise and thank you so much thank you